Hi, we're going to talk about um, mix designs and the mix materials app and also the order of the importance of the the order of the materials because in the mix design the order that you put in there is the order in which they're batched when you have multiple things going to one scale so you know the admixtures the aggregate the cement the water those systems work simultaneously but when you have fly ash and cement you know which one weighs up first or when you have rock pea rock sand you know which one uh, do you want to weigh up first okay so that's what we're going to talk about so we have an order here we created a seven yard load and as you see when we when we go to batch it um, we have this is a rock and sand mix the rock is going first and in this case the cement went first and then the fly ash okay the next thing uh, uh, when this is done we'll show you how to change change the order so pay attention to this when you're creating your mix designs the order at which you put them in you can always change it later um, but for right now, as soon as this, this batch gets done, we'll show you that. Um, one, let's open those screens now while we're here. So we're we're at mix, uh, a 2500 PSI test. We go to mix designs. Here it is. We first select it. Then this bag here is the mix materials. So uh, you can see the helper text there explains that this is where you can add, edit, delete materials. Okay. So we go here, okay, um, that little tone, let's see, ah, we're downloading, okay, so remember it went rock, then sand, cement, then fly ash, okay. So when, when we click this, here's our list, so cement's one, fly ash is nine, you know, so it's going to, the, the relative order is all that's important, this is before that this is before that okay so let's go let's just go uh, take our sand and our rock and let's go make it nine that'll put it at the end of the list okay and again the numbers don't necessarily matter um, but now it should weigh up the sand and then the rock okay so we don't really have to save anything back here if you change the quantities and you want to recalculate the yield uh, you can do that um, okay, so exit. Now when we go to draw another load for this order. Uh, we'll put Will's truck here. Let's just quick do a little four yarder. Recalculate. Okay. Start the load. Yeah. Let me turn the printer off here. Okay, yes. We'll do a four yard and I'll pay attention to the draw order here okay now sand is first this is on a simulator so it's weighing up very very quickly but that that's all really wanted to let you know about changing the the draw order you don't have to reassign materials you can just when you're setting up your mixed designs make sure you're putting the materials in the order that you you want to batch now what's up uh, Let's create a new mix design all together and show you how how you add materials, okay? So let's clear new. Uh, let's do a 3500 uh, test. Okay. Um, this max size defaults to the um, the default size in your settings for your plant. If uh, you have a mix that has a high disproportionate amount of of sand or pea rock or whatever, and you're not going to fit eight yards in there, put put a smaller quantity in here. And then if uh, if somebody tries to batch an eight yard load load, it will flag it and say, "Hey, no, you can't fit that in your bin." So, okay. So that is really the only. The only thing we need to 
put in here those are the only required fields everything else defaults tax you just want to leave these if for some reason uh, a, a mixed design is not you know it's considered a product that's not taxed at a certain level um, but you know this tangible product in most cases okay so let's save this and uh, first time you're adding a new one when you save it, it automatically pops this up and you just start adding you know adding your materials we we like to have our rock first and then our sand so let's put this put this in here we add it we just uh, quick quick do this um, next thing uh, you know you add your add your cement and water and stuff like that one thing I, I won't go through it to save time but one thing I wanted to tell you is at batch time you're allowed to tweak your ad mixtures okay so if you want to create a mix and you're sitting in a cold climate and you want to um, use chloride some of the time or if you want to give a super plasticizer to some 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 mixes and not the other instead of having to duplicate all the mixes um, what you can do is just put all your admixtures in uh, your super or your uh, chloride or non chloride accelerator in as zeros and then you can change them on the fly when you go okay so if we want to add admixture six just say zero and add okay and uh, when it comes time to create the load we can we can put some in here alright well that's the um, mix materials mix materials app thanks for watching